actually had to move spots only because I'm kind of running out of daylight here. It's 5.30 and you can already see the moon. It's kind of not used to that in Florida. Florida is usually bright and sunny uh, a lot later than this. But anyway, um, just an update. We scored a 55 Chevy. as we speak it's gonna be something that's gonna be a little bit time-consuming but um, we're getting there we ordered some parts for it those parts ended up being wrong so I will have a video out on the 55 Chevy coming soon also um, if you watch the channel you'll know I got a new Mach 1 not a new as far as uh, s550 but uh, an 04 Mach 1 um, in Azure blue and we are going to do a rematch with Clint Eastwood, my dad, um, with his O2 Camaro Z28 against my Mach 1. The original video of the Mach 1, uh, the black one that I had, that one and the Z28 went head to head on a little bit of a battle. Uh, we did a couple races, I'll include those in just a minute. And uh, we had a lot of fun with it, but the Mach 1 took the loss, all three races, and uh, the Camaro pretty much just beat it out. One, two, three. So with the Azure Blue Mach 1, um, there's really not much done to it, but it's a five speed. So we'll see what we can come up with when we decide to do the race. Uh, but make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you can check that out when I get it. I'm hoping to film that this weekend, but we'll see. So onto the video at hand here, this is the 0.3 Marauder. If you watch the channel, you'll notice about August last year, um, I posted a video on this car and it seemed to be one of my best videos actually. It was one of the first videos I ever did. Um, I was not pretty much, I was just trying to start off on YouTube. Uh, had really no experience what I was doing. Not saying that I do now, but I'm definitely a lot better at it than what I was when I started. But it was a good video and people really liked that video. Got a lot of comments on it. Then I did a short on it and that's been one of my best videos too. People just ate it up. Um, so I decided to do an update video on the 03 Marauder. To give you a little bit of a backstory, if you don't know what a Mercury Marauder is, in 03 and 04, Mercury built the Mercury Marauder, and it came with a four-valve, 4.6 dual overhead cam engine, made about 310 horsepower, and I don't know how much torque, but it was actually one of the uh, more performance sides of the, pa the Panther platform. Um, the Crown Vicks were probably the, the most popular, the P71 and P7B being the police cars. People just ate those up, but some people don't realize that Mercury actually made a performance model that came with an engine that was pretty much similar to what came in the Cobra in like 99 or 2001. And uh, I've, I've always kind of had a thing for these cars. I wanted one. They were just kind of out of my price range when I was younger. So one day I ended up just kind of settling and going, I'm going to get one finally. I always liked them. And uh, I picked this one up in January of 2022. So I bought this car from a gentleman that lived about two hours away. Super nice guy. We still kind of keep in touch on Facebook here and there. And uh, purchased the car from him. I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it. It literally had 98,000 miles when I got it. Right now, it's currently sitting at 109,000 miles. Um, in two years, this has been the car I have driven the most. I have a work truck that I drive Monday through Friday. So my cars themselves don't really ever get driven. However, if I do go out, typically this is what I take. One of the reasons being is because I have a kid, I pick her up from school, and uh, so this is kind of the ideal car for me to drive. It does have a car seat in the back, and I love it because it's still comfortable, but it's still somewhat of a performance model. And uh, the car has actually not given me any grief at all. Just to give you an update on what has happened with the car that I've had issues with, the driver's side door lock does not want to work with the remote. The little door lock actuator that sends the uh, rod up and down, it's just worn out and it's tired. 
so I have to open the door with the key um, or I can use the keypad the keypad works great and I'll use the keypad and basically just try to dial in the number and it'll pop all four locks if you do it twice so sometimes I'll get in that way if I forget my keys in the house and I gotta grab something not a big deal I do plan to fix it it's one of those stupid repairs that I just haven't had the time to do yet and uh, I will get to it it's just me being kind of lazy right now but the only other issue that I do have is that the AC is only now starting to want to blow on high and I don't know why it just started out of nowhere. I actually took the car over to uh, a car show not long ago. It worked great. Drove it around a few days after that and I never had an issue with it. Get in it the next day and all of a sudden it just wants to blow only on high. I found out what the fix is to it. It's something really stupid. It's not going to cost much and I will get to that and that just happened. So that's it. Out of the two years of me driving this thing regularly, putting an average of about 5,000 miles a year, not even quite that, I have only had two issues, the door lock actuator and the actual um, AC regulator as far as the, the blower motor goes. Um, I do have some things that I want to do to the car down the road, but it's been such a nice driving car that I just don't feel like messing it up and uh, making it something that I can't take on long trips if I wanted to. When I first got the car, I actually took it right to North Carolina, drove it with my dad. We spent all weekend in it. Um, we take it just about everywhere we go as a family if we don't drive my wife's car. Now it's funny because not a lot of people know what these are. And uh, in 93 with the Lincoln Mark 8, you could get a 4.6 dual overhead cam V8 engine in the Lincoln Mark 8. Essentially over time, those motors got updated. They became better. They made upgrades to them. And uh, by 03, 04, they had it pretty much dialed in. In the mid 90s, you'll probably remember uh, an Impala Super Sport. This was kind of Ford's answer to that, but almost a decade later. And I have actually had the pleasure of driving both vehicles. And I did like this one more. Um, I've always just liked that rounded body a little bit better. And it just kind of suited me. So this was the option I decided to go with. Now Ford did make the Crown Vic. Mercury made the Grand Marquis. They made the Marauder. And then Lincoln made the Town Car. They both also, all, actually, all of them had 4.6s in them, but those other cars, except the Marauder, they came with a single overhead cam 4.6. I'm not sure how much power they produce, but I'll make sure and put it in the video. And those are solid cars too. Um, your taxi cabs, police cars, and, you know, they were just a, a workhorse and Ford really sold them and uh, people loved them. The elderly community loved them. In fact, when I go out, there's times that I see people, they just come up to me and go, wow, is that your Marauder? Yes, it is. And not many people know what that is. Um, it doesn't happen as often as you would probably think it does. But I would say once a month, I do have somebody that comes out of nowhere and goes, man, that's a Marauder. I haven't seen one of those in years. And around here, I don't ever see them. Since buying this car, I have actually only seen two others at all, period. And I work in the Tampa area. So with that being said, I feel like I made a pretty good decision in buying them because I do feel like they'll go out in value at some point. However, I'm driving mine regularly and I wanted to get you a video of the condition of the car. This car I do take pretty good care of. I clean it regularly, but it does not stay stored in my garage. It stays stored in my carport and uh, inside the carport it stays safe. However, I do get some weather on the back of the car from the rain and also um, I get cat prints. <laughs> Sorry, my allergies are killing me. The cat prints, it kind of irritates me because it's not my cat and uh, I didn't want a cat. I have dogs and this cat likes to get up on my hood right over here and uh, rub its little paw prints. Kind of hard to see, but you can see his cat prints. And then he lays right in this area here. And it hasn't really damaged the paint, which I'm glad, but when you have 20 stray cats in your neighborhood, None of them are yours. I really don't know what to do. I guess I could call animal control and, and have them deal with it. But the fact of the matter is it's really not hurting anything. So I just kind of let it be. Uh, but the car does get washed a lot. Right now in the video, the car looks great, um, but it is a little bit dirty. The engine bay, as you saw probably in the beginning of this video, depending on how I edit it, you'll notice the engine bay is kind of dusty and uh, I haven't gotten up under there and cleaned it. I didn't want to clean the car you know, tip top, super clean for the video. I wanted to film the car the way it kind of is when I just drive it. Um, most of my cars stay absolutely clean, tucked in the garage, 
I wash them, you know, and then they go under a car cover. This one I was putting under a car cover at first, but then I was thinking to myself, as much as I'm going to be removing the car cover, I really don't want to take the chances of scratching the paint with dust or anything like that. So I just wash it regularly, but it gets its dust. It doesn't stay in the mint condition that I would like it to. There's some dirt in the floorboards and there's some dirt in the trunk uh, that I need to vacuum out. But the only thing else that I could ever say I could complain about this car is it has a very, very light tap at idle uh, from the engine, which I have had LS cars that did that. Um, they call that piston slap. I don't know if that's what I have. As soon as you touch the gas, the noise goes away and you never hear it and it's not detrimental the gentleman i bought it from who had the car for a long time he told me that the car did it the entire time he owned it and the guy that he bought it from who was the original owner said the same thing that he had that same noise pretty much started when he got the car and it just never went away doing some research i found that they're notorious for that little tick it's nothing to be worried about and it's just one of those things it's just a the nature of the 4.6 i guess uh, but it doesn't affect the power by any means. The car does get up and scoot, I'll give it that, but it's not fast. It's just, you know, quick for what it is. Um, I would never hang with a Hellcat, but, you know, it's still stylish. You don't ever see them, and uh, I love the blacked out look on them and uh, the kind of the one-off parts that are on it. It does have a Mach 1 chin spoiler on it. It does have special wheels, which uh, were just for the Marauder only. The interior came upgraded and uh, like I said, the 4.6 dual overhead cam engine. This to me is one of the best looks with the fog lights on and your uh, corner lights or your running lights. It's just one of those looks that I, I always kind of enjoyed on these cars. Um, so as far as future plans go, my original video, I said I would love to supercharge the car and I absolutely would. However, like I said, I just don't really want to mess with a car that runs so good and I depend on it so much and uh, kind of add to a headache of modifying something. Um, could it go smooth and nothing happened? Sure, but that's just not my luck with much of anything anymore. But I do plan to keep the car. Don't want to get rid of it. Um, I want to do a comparison video with this and the Mach 1 just to see how it kind of holds up to the Mach 1 considering they have the same engine. And uh, I'll get that video out at some point. So make sure and like and subscribe if you want to see that. But this is it. I'm sorry it got so dark. Um, I haven't filmed the video in a minute. And I got off work a little bit early today and decided I was going to run out and try and do this. So. I know I already said it, but I really did run out of daylight quick. And... I feel like my video is going to be a little bit crappy now, but I hope you enjoyed it. I do hope you all have a good Christmas. Um, this church is around the street from my house, and it's just a beautiful church. But I uh, hope you all have a great Christmas. Happy New Year. Keep, uh, keep an eye on the channel if you want to see some more content. Like I said, I got the 55 Chevy stuff coming out. And uh, the 04 Mach 1 versus the 02 Z28 rematch between Pops and... Uh, my new car so thanks again for watching and uh i'll keep you updated if anything changes with the marauder one day it'll be supercharged and it'll be a lot more fun but as of right now it's just my daily driver and i don't even drive it daily i just drive it when i can and it's probably one of the best cars i've ever owned as far as that as far as i'm concerned it's just comfortable it's dependable and uh i i know the tires really don't have anything to do with the car itself as far as uh quality but those tires are from 2016 and uh they're still holding up great the car was garage kept so they didn't really deteriorate like you would think they did but anyway see you on the next video